and welcome to our Yahoo TV Facebook Live at San Diego Comic Con. We're here with the ladies of the hit CW show, The 100. Woo! Yeah! yeah. 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 We're called us a hit. and Eliza Taylor. Uh, guys, if you want to leave <laughs> questions for these ladies, you can do so in the comment section. But I'm going to get things started. I want to talk about that season four finale. Let's do it. It was All kind right. of crazy. Pretty mm -hmm. intense. Uh, there was a major time jump. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm curious if you can kind of tease the new characters that you guys are going to be dealing with this upcoming season. Uh, the new character, like us being older, do you mean? Uh, well, there's a, a prison ship that arrived. Oh, yes, all the new characters. Right. Yeah, well, I, I, I've acquired a little munchkin by the name <laughs> of Maddie. Um, so, uh, you know, we're going to get to learn about um, my relationship with her throughout um, season five. Um, but I've found like a little night blood, so it's kind of an exciting storyline for me. <laughs> little baby night blood. A little bubba. <laughs> the three of you kind of take different paths at the end of the season. Uh, do you, how long are fans going to have to wait for you guys to kind of reunite, or is that a spoiler? Ooh, it is uh, a bit of a spoiler. We <laughs> are going to reunite, um, but uh, given the timing and all of that is, is quite the surprise. Mm -hmm. Or are we? Mm. Yeah. What if we? I mean, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. It'll really be know, interesting actually. to see what the world looks like after Prime Fire. After the death wave, um, our journeys five years later yeah. down the road, um, trying to survive, they were back up in space again. It sort of parallels back to the beginning of the show, um, but the whole kind of journey of the hundred is like a reboot five years later. So it's completely mm. changed, and it'll be really exciting. It's completely like the script's flipped. You know, now instead of the hundred coming down to Earth. Clark's the grounder, yeah. and we have this prison ship, which just happens to be a couple more delinquents, also coming down to Earth. So, mm -hmm. you know, Clark's the grounder now, and Great. we have a new Sky people. <laughs> but I also mm -hmm. like our dynamic, too, because we all have had our separate story yeah. and our separate, like, world. Like, mm -hmm. You know, Octavia is the queen of the bunker, and mm. Clark is on the Earth by herself with Maddie, and just, I'm in space chilling. with the space yeah. crew. So mm -hmm. we go through a good transgression of six years without each other. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's going to be really interesting to see our evolution as characters, and yeah. hopefully we do get to reunite. Yeah. yeah, everyone has major responsibilities now, but they're all very unique. And we're so spread out, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, one thing that I've noticed is the show is intense. Yeah. Uh, Just a little. Just a little smiling. Right off the yeah. I went to college. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> was there ever a moment, though, that really took you aback and just you were like, damn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, there's too many so to count. Many. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think, like, even from season one. Yeah. yeah. It's like, take a back Electrocuted bad Ricky and yeah. Yeah, hung some kids. Yeah. And yeah. Bellamy got hung. Yeah. You know, upside down. Take a bad situation two. and make it worse. And then it gets worse. And then just when you think Clark can fix it, it gets worse. And yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And this one's, like, so adorable and just, like, killing people. Like, assassinating. <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. I'm like, ugh. Okay. Yeah. Sword fighting is a lot of fun, I'm not going to lie. Useless like, skill in my real life, but really fun. And you never well, you know. You never know. <laughs> Whip it out. All right, uh, we're going to take some of these <laughs> questions now. I got one from Karen. Hi, she asks, Hi, Karen. if you could dress up on the floor of Comic-Con, what would you go as? Oh, oh my one. God. I, I man. just want to do that. <laughs> that was your answer last year. It's the truth. Well, you make a really I still good, haven't gotten to make do a it. great Sailor Moon. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I really would. Yeah. I was I was loving all the Wonder Woman costumes and the Amazons. I don't think I'd be Wonder Woman. I'd be one of the Amazons because they what were. What are the Amazons? Oh God, people hot. are gonna kill me. Like Robin Wright's costume. Oh my God, killer. I'd like to be it's Gollum. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Marie, you're just you're too attractive. <laughs> I don't know. I like the split personality thing of you know I'm a Gemini. I can relate. Gollum and Spiel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give me your best oh, one. Yeah, give, like, give me your oh. best one. Let's do it. Let's hear it. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I don't mean to. Why are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Comic Con 2018? Yeah, yeah. I want to walk the floor one day. Yeah, Dress I haven't up. done it yet. It's been five years. We've got yeah. to, do we it. should do I, it this I year. Did it. Yeah, I did it. You did it? Year. Yeah. Oh, you beat us. Yeah, I yeah, still haven't done it. Mm. Sorry. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, we have a question from Bree. She asks, what do you want the viewers to see in flashbacks? Ooh. Oh. 
I liked the flashbacks. Yeah. yeah. I yes, missed the really flashbacks cool. last year. Like, I, I missed them. Oh. Because oh. we didn't have as many that last year. Yeah. Oh, that the classroom one you weren't in. I wasn't in. Oh, that's right. right. I wasn't yeah. in that one either. Yeah. 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 Yep. I was. Yeah. So it's fun. It's so cool <laughs> yeah, when we get to like be I think teenagers again. There's so yeah. much story in the arc that they don't get to see, and there's so yeah. much yeah. development of our characters yeah. about who we were in the arc mm -hmm. and yeah. how that's changed the moment we got to the Earth and what we went through on the Earth. And mm -hmm. I think like for this year, it's going to be especially cool oh, because yeah. we've six, got six years six to catch years. up. Yeah. On, you know, yeah. So. Um, I guess viewers would probably want to see what's going on in space, Definitely. what's going on in the bunker, and what's going on on Earth. Yes, like, you know. the, the flashbacks will be different, I think, mm. for sure. Yeah, exactly. What happened fight like within the five year? Yeah, jump. And how yeah. it's changed all of us. I'm yeah. sure. You know, I'm sure. Definitely. Speaking of that Earth, you guys are running around the woods of British Matter. Columbia. It's yes. rainy. It's yes. muddy. <laughs> was there a day that was particularly gross on set? Um, oh, there's, uh, I, I mean, <laughs> I had one, so many. Oh, a couple, like, I mean, the last two episodes of last year, it was all snow, snow. and we're in hazmat suits, which actually are not warm. Are not warm. No. They're made of, like, rubber, and rubber actually kind of sucks the warmth out of you, which I didn't know. I was like, oh, we're going to be so warm, because no. we're all covered, but <laughs> it was the opposite, so it was very hard to do fight scenes and, um, and just be, like, out and in warm. it. And just yeah. be warm. My what? favorite is when it's torrential downpour raining. Anyways, we live in a rainforest in mm -hmm. British Columbia. It's not just a clever name. And then they, it's winter time. It's pouring. You're freezing. And then they bring in uh, the rain machines oh, yeah. on top of it. So it's like yeah. freaking freezing cold water, just like at mock speed from fire trucks that they haul in. It's, mm. it's a lot of fun. We, we, we dress up good, but we're tough chicks up there. <laughs> yeah. It's not as glamorous as it looks. But <laughs> Uh, so uh, now that you've had so much kind of ownership over these characters, you must have a, like a really good idea of you know the proper direction to take them in. Christy asks, would you like to direct an episode one day? I'd love to. I'm gonna try and um, sh we call it Rain. shadowing, yeah. where we shadow one of our directors and and our showrunner and everything, and learn as much as we can about it. So I hope to do that this year and maybe direct. I'm probably not this year. I'm not ready for that. I would, want, I would definitely want a lot more practice. Yeah. yeah. But I think it's really cool having the actors direct. Like when um, Henry Ian Cusick mm -hmm. Cusin directed, he knew all of us and knew the actors so well. What he brought to the table as our director, I thought was really unique and fantastic. Yeah, it was pretty, pretty so amazing. collaborative. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It'd be really cool. Uh, I, I don't really want to. I don't have much desire to direct, but I really want to shadow um, our uh, director of photography. Oh, I, yeah. I'm more interested in. Uh, how to work the camera and um, and just lighting and how all that works. I think like there there are so many challenges that and problem solving that sort of comes with that. And I'm really yeah. excited to maybe like you know be behind the camera on a scene as opposed to the director. It's my kind of Can goal this year. I want to shadow light. our DP. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Rhonda asks, how long before we see Bellamy and Clark again? Are they going to torture us? Are you going to torture Rhonda? Like. With the oh, Bullark thing. Oh, here we go. <laughs> um, are we? I don't. I, I haven't been given any information as to whether or not we're going to torture you, but I hope not to torture you, Rhonda. That would be Rhonda. cruel. Ooh, Rhonda. Rhonda. <laughs> we'll torture you, Rhonda. Yeah, Rhonda. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, okay then. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so many shows are playing catch up when it comes to empowering their female characters. The yeah. 100 was on it from the get go. It. Yeah. I'm wondering, what's your favorite interaction from some of the girls who have watched your show? Is there one that stands out? Oh, man. You know, we've all started so recently doing these other conventions yeah. and I get to meet these girls. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it is, it's awesome. It's amazing. It's, an, it's awesome yeah. and it, it, it makes me feel so grateful. It's really emotional, too. Like you, it's We've so had emotional. so many moments with, with fans where we're just, like, both crying. Like, yeah. oh, my God. Like, you know, because we're kind of having an impact on each other's lives. Yeah. And, yeah. Well, I just um, think it's so, I mean, the way I felt when I watched Wonder Woman, for example, you know, I felt, I, I teared up, like, five times and I got tingles just because, like, as a woman, especially in this industry and especially in this time period, you know, you... It's important that we yeah. feel that we are empowered and that we feel equal and that we feel heard in that, you know, and, and it's very strange that for so long in the media it wasn't like that and that that breaks my heart. So yeah. I feel extremely fortunate to be kind of on the forefront of this with these girls yeah. and 
be able to give those girls watching that same tingly feeling mm. inside that I felt when mm -hmm. I watched, you know, Gal today killing it. So yeah. What uh, what shows did you guys watch when you were young? Oh, man. What gave you that tingly feeling? <laughs> it was. <laughs> I, the polka dot door was very emotional for me. Uh, what is that? <laughs> it, was like, it was like a really bad Canadian TV show for kids. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, that was a joke. No one's going to get it because no one lives in Canada. But anyway. I watched, oh, see, mine's Australian <laughs> as well, so no, I don't know if, it, I mean, this is going like a world, okay, so the Australians will get this one. Um, I, Ocean Girl was like this, it was this amazing Australian TV show, and it was just, it, it was for kids, and it was about like this, this girl who lived in the ocean, and um, Ocean Girl, <laughs> duh. Um, <laughs> And I'm not, I'm not going to waste your time explaining it, but it was a very, it was a very cool show about, you know, a chick kicking butt. Oh. I was a big Xena fan. Oh, um, yeah. Growing up. I, I used yeah. to do it all the time. My mom <laughs> loved it. Yeah. Um, and I loved I Love Lucy. And, you know, I didn't even, re I just watched it because it was my mom's favorite show, and I didn't even realize it, but now looking back on it, Lucille Ball was a badass. I yeah, said, she had her own studio. She That's ran true. it. She, she directed. One of the first, or, one of the yeah. first female-driven yeah. sitcoms that killed it, and yeah. like, she is a genius. Yeah. So you know, I don't know. I just I've always just expected women to be at the forefront. They've always been in my life. So mm. that was just me. <laughs> uh, Haley asks, can you describe every single episode of Ocean Girl? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Uh, Haley, like, get ready. Well, uh, no. she goes into the sea. <laughs> Haley asks, she "Are we grew up finally?" In the sea. Oh, got it. <laughs> Haley asks, "Are we finally going to see Raven open up about how she feels about her disability slash mourn the loss of movement in her one leg?" I think that I think that's. I mean, I think that's a very in, just an interesting facet of Raven's character because I think she. You know, as much as she is strong and fierce, she still, I think, wears her heart on her sleeve and it gets the best of her and comes out when she's trying not to. She's always trying to contain it. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, I, I like the moments in the show we've had so far where you see her vulnerability, especially with her disability and especially with, you know, the change it has brought upon her psyche and her persona and how she feels about herself and also how she's rebuilt herself. I think this six-year time jump is going to be really interesting for Raven personally because it's going to show the evolution of that, of now living with this, you know, with this new body for a long period of time and where that's going to take her. So mm -hmm. I, I hope so. I think it's, mm -hmm. I think it's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, we have something here that you might not have noticed. We have a wheel. Oh, the giant wheel with yeah, sparkly lettuce? Yeah, I don't know lettuce. if you saw that. Yeah, no, I noticed. No, it's right Where? there. No, there, there you go. Okay. Where's the hot dog? <laughs> so we call that the Wheel of Comic-Con. If you give it a spin, uh, I will tell. it's going to land on a category, and I'll tell you what we're going to ask. Oh, I you. see. Okay. I know. What I so. have a feeling. I know what this is. Yeah! <laughs> nice. Good spin. Thanks. Strong. Thanks. Strong. <laughs> yeah. You're so strong. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh. Okay, that oh, landed. almost got porn. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's why is that there? <laughs> I can't tell you you didn't land on it. Uh, All right. That's audition. Well, thank God we're not those I'm kind like... of actresses. So. <laughs> Gee, what is we this? We could have been in one more. One more, one more, one turn. more turn. Yeah. <laughs> All right, audition. Uh, tell us your worst slash embarrassing audition stories. There if you so have many. There's, There's a many. lot. No. <laughs> My first audition ever. Uh, they, I was so nervous. They asked me um, how old I was, and I was like, my birthday's in five months. And they're like, okay, great. How old are you? And I was like, I had no idea my age There's or many. my name. I was so nervous. And they said, thank you. Have a nice day. And I didn't oh, even get to audition. Oh, wow. I couldn't even speak. Because yeah. you went full. Full <laughs> nervous dumb mode. Dumb. <laughs> yeah. I was like sweating. Yeah. It's painful, oh, but man. My, my worst one, this is so I really, <laughs> can't believe I'm talking about this. Oh, just I do walked, it. So I walked, this is like way before, like I think I was about 21. It was my first little trip to LA just to kind of test the waters. Did not go well. Um, I walked into a room and I got so nervous. I was wearing heels like this, this big... I was physically shaking so much and trying to read that I fell over. Oh, just no. all, the, all I was doing was standing and I just went. <laughs> oh. And they were like, oh my God, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, should I keep going? They were like, 
No. You're like on the ground. Just, <laughs> you're like a lie. wobbly giraffe with shaking was, papers. It was so humiliating. Uh, okay. Look how far you've come. I have PTSD from that. <laughs> well, um, I know that's yeah. like my first one in LA. <laughs> It was like, I think it was like for Law and Order or something, some crime show, right? Mm -hmm. And I was like some like victim and it was like really emotional and I had to get to tears at the end, right? And so I do it and it actually goes well. And I like the tears are happening and I'm like, Bleh! and then I'm done with the scene and I go, I'm all teary and I'm like, that was my first audition. <laughs> I got <a> total. Hey, <laughs> literally job, like me. tears and be like, that was my first audition in LA like well, I told proud of yourself I was and yeah. I told the casting director like a dumb dumb yeah. <laughs> like hire me so you much know? for being cool so yeah, much yeah. for being a pro um yeah. well that's good I, I get that that's bad. actually yeah I didn't that's... get it though but I well I thought it was totally fine and then I remember calling my ex-manager at this point and being like and she asked my goes and I told her like and then I told her it was my first one and she was impressed and she's like, oh, no, don't do no. that. <laughs> don't you ever say that. It's supposed to be cool as a cucumber, right? right? Yeah, okay, you, it would be bad, though, if like, you, like, every, this is my third audition, <laughs> like, you, like, you can't stop. Can't. This, this is, is my 8,000th audition. <laughs> yeah. This is my 556,000. Yeah. And they look at my resume, and I've only ever had three jobs, and tell them it's my 8,000th audition. Yeah, like, oh, she's, she's shit. <laughs> Next. <laughs> yeah. Like, this is my third audition. Yeah. Job number three. <laughs> Anyways, sorry. Yeah, there you go. God, I'm bummed because that's the end of our time. No. No, but listen, I just want to say this, and it comes from the heart. The fifth season of The 100 <laughs> will air sometime next year, but you can watch the first four seasons on Netflix. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Thanks. From the heart. Got porn, right? <laughs>